I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Sean Michael Hill, an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ by the will of God the Father. Today, I want to speak to the President of the United States of America, Mr. Joe Biden. There are elections ahead of you in the year of 2024. Is there are elections ahead of you? The Lord Jesus has impressed you into my spirit since the last year, November 2022. But today is the appointed time in which he has made me to speak to you. So today, the Lord Jesus, being the firstborn of God, who was given to the children of Israel and was manifest from being the word of God to be the son of God, he came in the flesh through the Virgin Mary, who was overshadowed by the Holy Ghost, where Christ was put in the womb of Mary by God the Father, without the seed of a natural or a physical man. Though Mary was entitled to be married to Joseph, she had to carry the son of the living God, whose name was Jesus Christ. He was born in a manger, and as he was born in a manger, he grew up in the power of the Holy Ghost. John the Baptist declared about him. He prepared the way about him. He was a forerunner of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Being a forerunner, he declared of him. And when he came, he said, this is the Son of God whom I have been talking about. He was before me and is above me. He baptized him with water. And as he baptized with water, the heavens opened and the Spirit came down upon him like a dove. And the voice came from heaven saying, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. This son is the son of the living God. His name is Jesus Christ. He went about all of Israel doing good and preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. As he was preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, he even set the people free from the power of the devil. In him was the grace of God. In him was the forgiveness of sins. In him was the baptism of the Holy Spirit and of fire. And as he preached, Israel killed him. They buried him. When they buried him, after three days, he rose from the dead. He is the only man who rose from the dead, who conquered death, who is the firstborn from death. His name is Jesus Christ. The prophets witness unto him, and I also witness as an apostle of this Lord Jesus Christ, who rose from the dead and was set at the right hand of majesty of God the Father by God himself, not himself sitting on the right hand of God, but God exalted him far above all authority in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. His name is far above all. And to those who believe in him, there is remission of sins. The Lord Jesus is reaching out to you that you may believe in him, that you may come out of darkness, you may come out of unbelief. The Father himself is reconciling you back to him, is calling you to him because you were chosen before the world was framed by God the Father in Christ Jesus. This not being by your desire or your will, but this being God himself reaching out to you, pouring out his love, his love in his son, who is Jesus Christ, his firstborn. And he's saying, come out of darkness. Believe in my son, Jesus Christ. This son whom I have preached to you, who is also called the word of God, the beginning and the end, the alpha and omega. He loves you and he has had mercy on you. All we have to do is to just believe. There are not many, many years ahead of you. But your time is almost about to come. As this is the case, he does not desire for you to be cast in hell and for you in the great day of Jesus Christ to be cast in the lake of fire. He desires for you to be in the holy city, heavenly Jerusalem. And he's saying, repent of your sins. Believe not in any other gods or in any other lords, but believe in Jesus. Believe in the word of God. Believe 
in him who is seated at the right hand of God. You are supposed to pray, Mr. Joe Biden. The Lord Jesus Christ is saying, you are supposed to give your life 100% from the moment you hear this message unto him. The spirit is ready to come upon your life. Once you hear this message, the Holy Spirit shall come upon your life. You shall have a renewal of mind. You shall have a new heart. You shall be born to be a child of God. Pray with your wife. Pray with your children to this Jesus Christ and his father whom he declares, whom I also declare is the only spiritual father. Do not have any other man on earth you call spiritual father, but believe in the father of Jesus Christ. As this is so, there are elections ahead of you in 2024. I also speak to your party that if they desire not to have you, to represent them in the coming elections, they are not going to win those elections. The main desire of God is Mr. Joe Biden. There is somebody already within the party, a group of people, we have come together and said no, and started speaking words into the ears of other members of the party to say, let's not have Mr. Biden represent us in the upcoming elections, but let us have this man represent us. Another man, a white man, a younger man than Mr. Biden, to take us up to a greater America. I want to tell you, the Democrats, there is no other man who will be able to win for you the coming elections for representing your party, except be it Mr. Joe Biden. If you hear God, if you hear the words of the Spirit, you shall hear and you shall elect and appoint Mr. Joe Biden as the man that shall represent you. Mr. Biden, you are required to pray to win the coming elections. Do not rely on any other power. Do not rely on yourself. Do not rely on anything else but on Jesus Christ. Trust in the word of God. Trust in the Father and you shall have victory. This victory shall be the victory of God. This victory shall not be the victory of yourself or of the kingdom of darkness. But God is saying, I want this victory to myself that I may be glorified. So I believe you have heard me. There is also an assassination attempt upon your life. You should not eat any food from any other woman beside your wife. You should not eat any other food from any other man. But this food you shall eat from henceforth shall come or shall be cooked by your wife. May your wife be protected. May you be protected, Mr. Biden. May the love of God envelop you. May his spirit fill you. May his Holy Spirit guide you into all truth. And that truth is Jesus Christ. May your soul, your life be protected from any assassination attempt over your life. If you fail to listen to these words, I am seeing you in hospital wearing a, a blue outfit in hospital on machines, oxygen machines and pipes inserted on your hands. I pray you may hear this message. And this message may reach out to you. May it be so by the Spirit that this message shall reach to you. May nothing hinder this message from me reaching out to you. God loves you. God loves you, Mr. Joe Biden. God loves you. God loves you and your family. You have to pray. You have to believe in Jesus Christ. And no other power, no other power, no other God and no other Lord. The election for 2024 are supposed to be yours. If you hear the words of the Spirit, you shall win to the glory of God the Father in the Son. May it be so that this shall take place. As you hear this message, as you hear this message, may this message reach your ears. May this message reach your inner man. 
may this message change 